Hi everyone, it's Maive, welcome back to my channel. Inspired by Disney's Moana, today we'll be making the Heart of Tafiti necklace. But first, let me introduce you to Polymer Clay Amino, an app dedicated especially to all things polymer clay. If you love crafts but polymer clay holds a special place in your heart, then this is the app for you. Check in every day to find lots of polymer clay sculptors and artists just like you sharing the daily work or tutorials but also to exchange tips and tricks by joining public chats. Apart from posting mini blogs, polls and links, you can take part in themed challenges and contests and your work may also be featured on the front page for everyone to see. Make sure to read the newbie guide and the community rules before you get started just so you know that you're not breaking any. So come and find me on Polymer Clay Amino. It's fun, it's free and friendly. To make the heart of Tafiti, I mixed translucent polymer clay with a bit of glass paint because having a translucent finish, I wanted to try it with polymer clay. But you can also use oil paints, alcohol ink or polymer clay to add color. I mixed a bit of blue and yellow to get that beautiful turquoise shade. I don't recommend using acrylic paints to add colour as it tends to crack your polymer clay piece while baking. To give the stone a beautiful sparkle I added white and blue glitter dust. Mix them in really well and then start shaping the stone. To trace the design, I held the stone flat on the palm of my hand. I started by drawing the wave from the centre outwards and adding lines following that wave. I went over the lines with a silicone tool to soften them and baked it for 10 minutes. Once cool, I added a sheet of tan clay to the top and trimmed off the excess. I used a knife to cut out shapes and soften them with a silicone tool. I used a pointy tool and a needle tool to add more detail. I also added some texture with a toothbrush. To make tiny circles I used a small round piping tip.
Once you're happy with the design, bake again for 10 minutes. Once cool, I painted the tan clay with brown acrylic paint and blotted the excess with a tissue. I added a darker shade of turquoise just below the tan clay to give the stone some depth. For highlights I used white acrylic paint. Next I drilled a hole on top of the pendant and inserted a screw bail. Once the paint had dried I added a thin layer of Fimo gloss and while it was still tacky I dusted mica powders in green, blue and purple shades. You can also use eye shadows. To make the necklace I used jute string for a rustic look and to prevent the ends from fraying while adding the beads I glued them. Cut two equal pieces of string, making sure you have enough to make the necklace. Next you want to add the first bead to only one of the strings and make a knot on both sides of the bead using both strings. Now turn that over and make the second knot. Then repeat on the other side, starting from the knot. Slide a bead in and tie the second knot. Repeat for as many beads as you want. I glued the ends together before adding cord ends. I added a bit more glue and a cord end. To secure it to the strings I closed the last coil with pliers. Do the same on the other side and then add a clasp. Link the pendant between the first two beads with a jump ring and your Heart of Tafiti necklace is complete. I really hope you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, ciao ciao!